Hi everybody, it's Crafty Cassie and I am here today because I want to do something a little different and I hope you'll join me or at least maybe if you take away some inspiration. A friend of mine every year does a program, uh, I think she calls it 30 Days of Lent and she makes each day she will pray and have a moment, has a meditation moment if you will and then she will make a little art journal page and then at the end she'll put it all together in a book and it's my favorite book that she does and every time I go visit her I always look at it and I thought I would do the same thing or at least something similar but I would focus on my word and so each year I pick a word and I normally go through the Allie Edwards one little word program and I, uh, I say I normally go through I don't always do all the prompts though, uh, but I do enjoy the program and I think it uh, creates motivation for me and it helps me keep my word focused and centered throughout the year. Even if sometimes I skip a few months and have to go back and catch up. Um, my word this year is nourish and it came about because last year I had problems, well, uh, they discovered the cancer in my throat and I had uh, treatment and surgery and oh, it, it's been, I decided that this year I wanted to focus on nourishing myself but also it's such a great word because it can nourish my creativity or it can nourish my, my writing which I sometimes put on the back burner and put other people's writing ahead of mine and, and so it was a great word for me. But, um, again, I've let a few months go by and I haven't had this word front and center in my life. So, I want to do a project where I focus on the word nourish and I'm going to call it 30 Days of Nourish. And I'm going to make a little tiny book and I'm going to use, um, this is the back of a paper pad uh, as my f covers. And then I'm going to use some uh, mixed media paper here. This is from Faber Castell. I'm going to cut it down into a size. And basically, uh, it's not going to be fancy. It's not going to be a sewn book or have rings because I don't have any rings. But I am going to put some hole punches in it. These are my paint swatches. Um, basically it's going to look like this with a hole punch on the top and a hole punch on the bottom and a little ribbon here uh, which will be nice and pretty and it'll have a cover but it won't be this small anyway I thought I would video these and kind of go through the process uh, I know a lot of times there are all these uh, finished products or people already have everything in mind and then they do the videos and it's all nice and quick and beautiful and I have I have no idea how this is going to turn out I encourage you to come along with me and I'm going to be focusing each day on uh, I don't know if I would call them affirmations just things that I need to hear uh, when it comes to this word, when it comes to nourishing myself and uh, the various things in my life or how I can bring this word into my life in a better way. And so with that said, are you ready? I'm going to walk you through the process and we're going to do it together. Maybe you'll get some of my rambling. I do like to ramble and uh, yeah, let's go. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do today is really just cut down the covers and the pages and put the book together and then I'm going to work on the covers I think at least the front cover so maybe it's 31 days of nourish. Um, these are A4 sizes and I want to be able to get at least four pages out of here so I don't know what that is off the top of my head, but what I'll do first is go ahead and cut this off here. And then that leaves me with 11, so five and a half, 
this way. It might end up being four by five and a half. And then this way is a little over eight, but I will make it eight even so that I can do four by five and a half. So that will be the size of my book. And I will go ahead and cut all these down, which is really kind of boring. So maybe I'll ask questions. And the first one is, do you have a word of the day that you, or word of the year, word of the month, something that you focus on? I've done this, I don't know how many years I've done it now. Oh, we need to make sure this is eight. How many years have I done this? Maybe five years. And the words that I have had have been, let's see, this is now eight. I have had light and believe and breathe. There's one I'm missing. Light, believe, breathe. I think there was one about expectations or I don't think that was it though. Obviously that one didn't stick with me. I should probably do it again. Light, believe, breathe. something like purposeful or that wasn't it though what was it anyway yeah uh, obviously perhaps I should do that one again and nourish my favorite ever was light and then probably believe. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. don't have a plan in mind for this other than each time I'm going to focus a little bit on things that I need to hear. Um, I don't know about you, but for me, I think I get caught up in Oh, I'm not good enough, or what am I doing, or even if I start off really strong, then after a while these thoughts will come in and sort of derail me, and I think it happens to all creatives. I told my brother the other day, I just need a win, a really small win. And so I'm going to create my win. If you are looking for a win, then I encourage you to try this also. Cutter has to be one of the best tools any crafter can have, 
right? So, I end up with 32 cards. We'll put the two extra cards there. We will keep this over here. And then we need to cut the edges or the covers. I'm going to make it just a little tiny bit extra. Now I only need two of these. So it will end up looking like this. And then I'm going to put maybe three holes here. And then I'm going to use this ribbon. The first thing I'm going to do is put uh, gesso on them. My friend uses a credit card because she's smart and I don't have a whole credit card. so. Ooh, but I do have one of these. Just so it will help me use different materials on this. So it forms a foundation, if you will. I'm using white gesso as opposed to clear. I also have black. But I really want this to be more vibrant. And so I want the white to show up. And I think I'll put gesso on both sides. There's just on one side. And here's just so on this one. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I am not. Huh, I actually can be a perfectionist, but when it comes to this, I, I try not to be. It's a thin layer, so it dries quite quickly. And I should be able to go ahead and put some on this side, too. Just so it will also help give it strength. So as I put more layers on this, it will hold that in, especially as this is cardboard. But it's a great way to use the backs of your paper pads instead of throwing them away. Okay, so I think a lot of the colors I've been using for my word have been yellow and orange. And so I'm pulling out uh, primary yellow th from pigment, which is the local. And then I also have Delusions Pure Sunshine Paint. I also have these campus uh, acrylics. These it came in a set with a whole bunch of tiny ones. So I have yellow ochre. I have burnt sienna. And I have primary yellow. Ah, but I love turquoise, so I might bring this one in too. It's like a 
I don't know, a fun color, an accent color. Okay, so let's start with just primary yellow. I love acrylics because, I mean, you can just peel it off. And we're going to put a little bit here and a little bit there. Then I think we're going to use some burnt sienna. And then maybe some turquoise. And some sunshine. Okay. And then we're just going to paint. So feel free to use whatever colors you like. I'm leaving that blue until the end. I think I want a little bit more yellow in this one. And if you notice, I'm not washing off my brush, I'm just uh, letting it capture all the colors that are there. So now I have uh, both of these and what I want to do is add a little bit of texture to them, at least to the outside. I have painted both sides and I have little spots here and I'm okay with that where it dried on the paper. So I have this big box of scrap paper here for when I have uh, pattern paper and then I have leftovers. And what I'm looking for now is just pieces that I can add on here to build some texture. And it doesn't matter to me if it's if it's the best paper. I, I don't necessarily need the best paper because I might end up covering a lot of it. And I don't want to feel like, oh no, I used all this great paper and then I covered it up. So now what I need are some scissors and to really decide which ones I'm going to use. I, I really like the words. And I like these little yellow bits here. I think I might start with that and see if I need any more. I really like this too. And so what I'm doing here is just cutting out uh, squares. But they don't have to be perfect squares. Just bits. And then the words. the stars too, but I really like words. Okay. 
And what we're going to do now is just glue these down. I'm going to use Matte Medium by Deco Art Media. I don't have a placement in mind. I think I'll use this side. One side will be the uh, the outer edge and one side will be the inner edge. And I will probably cut some off the outside. And I think what I'm going for is to build up a, a layer, uh, mostly in the corners here. I want to keep an area here, I think, where I can write the words I want. out the And I'm putting medium on the outside as well, so that it creates a little texture. I think this will be the back. Gluing down pieces of paper can be so therapeutic, if you will. And again, I'm going to cover a lot of this. peeking through.
Okay. I am happy with that. Here's one of my covers. And here's the other one. And then I will flip it over and cut off the excess. Now, I have two covers. I'm thinking I need one more little bit of this one. There. So, while this dries, I'm going to set these aside, and I'm using this in the, the pages itself, but I think for the first one, I'm not. I think the, the cover, I'm going to write the words. And these are more like uh, journal steps. Uh, and again, textures. It'd be great if I had a stamp that said nourish, but I don't. Book stamps. more writing. I have arrows and little sentiments where you could write on things. This one I like to use the word breathe or this little stamp here. I really enjoy. Now, we wanted to add some color here. And one of the ways I'm going to do that is with this acrylic ink. This one is Aqua Drop Burnt Sienna. I'm going to test it first and see if it's what I... So it's very dark. But I'm going to add some water and blend it around.
the reason why I like the ink so this is one and here's the second one Semnalier light yellow. Ready. This and some beautiful yellow highlights. Okay, now I'm happy. Can you see the beautiful yellow? Okay, so now that I have two pages, I have a front and a back, and I have taken this handwriting stamp and inked it up a little bit and I just want bits and pieces to come through so I'm using my fingers so it's not precise I want it to be fragmented And just in places. I like that. Maybe a little bit here. Mm -hmm. I like it, I like it. And then a little bit more over here. It's also nice when you can do Oh, I really like that. So yay. Um I'm okay with all of that now. There's one more thing I really want to do because I love it. And that is going to add some gold. And this is Liquitex Iridescent Bright Gold Acrylic Ink. Trick here is I want it to look splattered but not splattered. 
almost as if there are just drops of gold. And the same over here. One nice way is if you can take your brush and just sort of roll it. It creates a element of imperfection. I think I am happy with both of those. This will be the back. And the back still has the original colors on it. And what I will do is once this dries, I will add some of the red or sienna, burnt sienna acrylic ink along with the light yellow acrylic ink. So, what if we did this? Let's put a little bit of matte medium on here. Now, I have my cover. I love it. Thirty days of nourish. And my book will look like this.